problem number 2 a square pyramid of base side 30 mm axis 60 mm resting on the ground vertically with the base corner touching the picture plane and the base edges equally inclined to the picture plane and behind it the station point is 50 mm in front of the picture plane and 70 mm above the ground the central plane is 15 mm to the left of the axis of the solid so draw the perspective projection of the pyramid to start with let's take uh, the picture plane a horizontal line and we call it as picture plane now we draw the top view of the square pyramid with one base corner touching the picture plane and base edges equally inclined to the picture plane so we take a vertical reference and now we take a 45 degree we take a 45 degree line on both the sides to make the square equally inclined to both the sides 45 degree first we draw a 45 degree line here similarly we draw another 45 degree line here so that the square shape is equally inclined with reference to the picture plane we take the base side as 30 mm this is 30 mm find out 30 mm the other side as well we take this height and we place it here so that we can complete this square with this base edges equally inclined so here is a uh, square in this square as p q r s and this is o so we get the top view of the square pyramid Now that we can take this axis of the square pyramid, it is given that the central plane is the central plane is 50 mm to the left of the axis of the solid. So we take a 15 mm left side of the axis of the solid. We draw the central plane. So this we call it as CP central plane. The location is 
15 mm to the left of the axis this is 15 now the station point is located at the central plane given the station point is 50 mm in front of the picture plane and 70 mm above the ground so we take uh, 50 mm we take 50 mm from the picture plane 1 2 3 4 5 and uh, we get the top view of the station point s yes. we give a reasonable gap of 20 mm and we locate s dash in order to locate the ground plane we need to take this 70 mm because station point is 70 mm above the ground plane so we take 70 mm from this s dash and we can locate 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so here is the point so with the help of this we will be able to locate the ground plane we name it as gl gl represents the ground plane therefore this distance is s dash which is uh, 70 mm above the ground plane and uh, small s is 50 mm in front of the picture plane so we get we get 50 mm in front of the picture plane and 70 mm above the ground plane we get 70 mm above the ground plane now we can locate the front view by projecting the top view on to the ground line so we take this so we can get the front view of the square pyramid now the square pyramid is at a height of 60 mm so therefore we can locate the height of the square pyramid that is 1 2 3 4 5 6 so we can put square pyramid with a point o dash here is the point p dash similarly we have q dash here and r dash here when we see from here p is visible r is invisible and we have s dash here s dash so now we can join, join all this with the respective o dash so that we get the front view of the square pyramid this can be obtained now uh, we have to join first we join o and s dash join o and s dash similarly we can join q dash and s dash with the help of array we can join q dash and s dash with the help of array again we can join p dash r dash with s dash with the help of array 
this small s dash can be joined with the station point s dash and with the respective top view station point so can be joined with s p already joined now we join q q with Yes. R can be joined with yes. R can be joined with yes. Yes. So here is P intersect with P P is named as P one. Q intersecting with PP is named as Q. R intersecting with uh, PP is named as R1. S intersecting with PP is named as S1. This P, we project this P. It intersect with P rays. It intersect with the P rays. Naturally, this is going to be the capital P, the perspective projection points capital P then we have Q Q has to be projected to the Q ray so here is the projection so Q1 through Q1 draw a vertical line so that it intersect at the ray small Q fine so that point of intersection is called as the perspective point capital Q. Similarly, we can bring R the R ray intersect the picture plane at R1. So this can be project projected so that it touches the ray R in order to get capital R. Similarly, we can project small s, small s, small s, we project small s and we extend this so that it touches the s ray it touches the S ray in order to give capital S that is the perspective view of S. Same thing can be followed for O also. Here is the point where O ray touches the picture plane and we call it as O1. So we project this so that it intersect with the ray O to get point capital O that is the perspective view point for the square pyramid point P and Q first we join the extreme points so we can join P and Q P and Q similarly we can join P and S also P and S these are the extreme points P and S is visible O and S again we can join O Q O Q with a dark line it's a visible edge the same way we can join OP also OP is also a visible edge OP is also a visible edge now that we have the square pyramid the perspective view of the square pyramid all the invisible edges can be joined with the help of dotted line so here we have qr 
QR has to be connected with the help of dotted line. Then RS again dotted line. Then OR is also a dotted line. Because OR is invisible, we make use of dotted line. Now, the square pyramid with the base side is given. So, we mark that base side dimension. It is given. And uh, the height of the square pyramid is given as 60 mm. So, we have to mention that also. So, this base side is 30 mm base side. Similarly, the height of the square pyramid is given as 60 mm. So, we have to mark that height. This is 60 mm. At the same time that the pyramid is resting on its ground vertically with the base corner touching the picture plane and the base edges are equally inclined to the picture plane. Therefore, this angle is 45 degree. So, we mark this angle this particular angle as 45 degree once this is 45 this is also 45 degree again it is given that the central plane is located left side of the axis so we have taken 15 mm from the left side to the axis and we marked the station point on the central plane. We have marked the station point 50 mm in front of the picture plane. We have given a reasonable gap of 20 mm. It is an arbitrary gap. And again from here we have taken 70 mm to represent that the station point is located 70 mm above the ground plane. So we are able to find out the ground plane. We name it as GL. That is the representation of the ground plane. So, here is the final answer which gives the perspective view of the square pyramid.